After playing a game like uh, Walk the Dog, which focused on the number that comes before or the number after, I'd be playing some sort of snap game uh, because what I want to do is develop some fluency with these sorts of ideas. And the game that I like playing is Snap One More, One Less. Now it follows the traditional rules of Snap, so roughly each player gets half the cards and they simultaneously turn over the cards. If there's a match in the ordinary snap, then you would snap on the cards. But in this case here, you would only snap if a card is one more or one less than the card that's showing. So for example, a four went down, you could snap if there was a five or a three that went down. So what you're doing is trying to get a faster response or more fluency in terms of understanding that sequence. Now, one of the nice parts about this game is that as a teacher, I can differentiate the curriculum. So, for example, if some children struggle with that, they could be playing the ordinary snap game, which is important because it's about matching. Some children might only be able to play the snap one more because it's a slightly easier concept. It's the natural progression of uh, the counting sequence. Uh, later on, they could play snap one more, one less, and that's because it's harder to work out the number that comes before in a number sequence. If you spotted that there were some very bright children in your class, then you could play snap add to 10. In other words, if a six went down, you'd snap if a four went down because six and four make 10. 